Well, what is up, folks? I want to make a video right here, all right, on some very key things that VR, making, holding VR back right now, okay? Let's just say that. This is why VR has not taken off into fucking the next generation of gaming, all right? I'm going to tell you right here. Number one, this is the biggest thing right now. The screen door effect of the two main headsets, the HTC Vive and the Oculus, okay? The screen door effect is horrible. I don't care what you say. If you play it long enough, it goes away. You don't notice it. I, myself, have the Pimax 4K right here. 2K per eye. Great. Fantastic resolution. You can't see the screen door effect. I don't care about the haters that are like, oh, you could see squid. I don't see that shit, okay? I don't know. Maybe if you really look for it, but there's no screen door effect on that headset. And problem number two, right here, the games themselves, all right? The games themselves have two major problems, all right? That is just having the hands. Just having the hands is not immersive, okay? There's a disconnect between these developers and the fucking people that are buying the games. Like, yeah, some, is it's cool, okay? I've played games like this. I've tried the Oculus, I've tried the HTC Vive. That's the one main problem of the Pimax. It doesn't have VR controls, but the Pimax 8K will, okay? Or, and you can get Nolo for it, but then there's another problem, okay? There's another fucking problem. Hold on, let's go back. I accidentally had the wrong thing pulled up here. Teleporting around, okay? Right here, teleporting around needs to stop. It is not fun. It is not immersive. I don't care if you're like, hey, oh my god, but it, it helps with motion sickness. If you get motion sick, here's a PSA for you. Don't buy VR. I do not get motion sick. I have not gotten motion sick one time in virtual reality with any headset I've used. Okay, so if you get motion sick, VR is not for you, okay? You can't experience the next generation of gaming. I'm sorry. I mean, they can still put this teleporting feature in the game for the people that are, I get motion sick. Don't make it the main thing, okay? Don't make it teleporting only, which also brings me to another problem. The VR controllers that don't have thumbsticks. Now, I made these ghetto. They're not actual motion, but you can program these to basically be the keyboard and play your game standing up like I did with Skyrim VR Part 4 on my channel. If you want to check that out, I'll put it at the end of the video. But I have a, a rig where I hook myself up, I can run around. It was really fun with these. They have thumbsticks on them. They need to put thumbsticks on these VR controllers. Now I know the Pimax, or not the Pimax. I'm getting confused. There's so many of these fucking VR headsets, which gets me to another point later on, but I know the Oculus has thumbsticks, but the games still don't use them to move around. This needs to stop. Okay, I know not everyone has a rig they could hook themselves up and run around, but I heard that the LA Nor VR, which also did another thing right that most of these VR games don't do right, it has the arm. So it can't be that hard to do. Okay? Don't tell me it is. You're a lying crybaby. I like the hands. The hands are cool. Ah. Dumb. Okay? And some of these games don't even have the hands. They just have the controllers. You're holding the controllers. When I'm in VR, I want to be immersed in the world, okay? I use Vorpex to play my games. It has the arms in it, okay? I know it doesn't move with my motion, which that would be more immersive, but you can't do that with Vorpex, okay? Sadly. So that's what has not made me buy Nolo for the Pimax and had motion controls, which that's the main VR titles for the games, okay? So there's another problem right there in itself, okay? And then the pricing of these headsets. Now, I'm not going to attack it and be like, oh, oh. But what you're getting for the money with the HTC Vive and the Oculus, their current models. Now, I know they're coming out with the HTC Pro. It's going to have a higher resolution, but it's not going to have a wider field of view. So, it's not a, even a next-generation headset to me because I already have the fucking Pimax. So, dumb fucks. Make the freaking wider field of view like the Pimax 8K is going to do. Now, I heard about the, Scar, the Sky VR or Star VR or whatever. That's going to also have it. But this is just ridiculous, okay? Now, they're probably going to make the... I heard that Walking Dead game that's coming out. It's going to be a rail shooter. No, I don't want to play something that's already pre-mapped out. I want to, I want, here's what I want, okay? I want a night, I don't know if Eleanor is full V, or like a full open world or not. Like, I want to try this damn game, okay? I'm sorry, folks. I don't have the motion controls, but right here, it's just, oh my god. There are so many things that just are holding VR back, and it's so simple. It is so simple to fix these things. I don't know why someone hasn't done it. 
I don't know why they're coming out with all these VR headsets and people are buying into this generation of VR, which there's no problem if you're going to get the Pimax 4K, which I'll put in the description. Go over to Amazon. It's an associate link. You'll help me out a lot. But I don't know. I, I'd, I'd actually say wait to the Pimax 8K because that's going to be the legitimate next generation of VR. Two 4K displays, 200 field of view. It's going to be fantastic. It's gonna be. It's gonna have the motion controls and everything. Now these games are just pissing me off. The Contagion VR. It's probably gonna be a really good game, but I think I seen that it's only teleporting. I heard. I don't know if that's true. But if it's only teleporting, fuck off. Okay. I don't want to teleport around. Okay. I played the Batman Arkham VR that playthroughs on my channel. Maybe I'll link that at the end of the video as well. This is ridiculous. Okay. I've ranted so long about this, and now I finally made a video. On why it hasn't taken off okay so if you agree with me please be sure to drop that like below also be sure to drop some comments if you're like the screen door effects not that bad ah. you can drop all that in the comments you can argue with me you can be like ah. but honestly I think VR it's a decent price for what it is but not the current headsets the ones that are going to be releasing with the higher resolutions these headsets right now the HTC Vive and the oculus I don't know about the other ones and their resolutions and shit. I hate the screen door effect, okay? That's why I didn't buy that. That's why I got the Pimax, okay? I'm just being honest, folks. I'm just being real. So, there you go. That's the video for you. Decide if you want to subscribe. Have a great one. Peace. Bye-bye.